<laughs> Long time no see, everybody. Okay. And now, if you will indulge me. Oh, damn it. I am going to take another extremely audible sip from my water bottle. Where the hell did I put it? There you are. Oh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Okay, so what we've learned so far is, uh, well, you know, the stage is all set. Uh, a tragic event happened a year ago in which two girls, one of which I was playing as, plummeted to their deaths while being chased by a dude. Something. And now, in one of the stupidest dumb party m frat people moves ever, they have decided to do it again. Now, uh, all of these people, you know, stuck in teenage purgatory are intertwining their genitalia with each other and f <laughs> and then getting angry at each other when they realize that they don't like it when other people do that. So, the stage is set, the hormones are flaring, and I hope somebody fucking dies soon. Because I can't take much more of this. Alright, that sounded really morbid. But I paid... Alright, it was on sale. I was about to say, I paid $60 and I haven't seen any goddamn blood. First off, I gotta say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For okay, also, it seems as though uh, this game is split up episodically, uh, and it has that, like, previously on Until Dawn thing that, like, Alan Wake did, uh, and Asura's Wrath did, uh, you know, trying in an attempt to split itself up into different you know, yeah, I feel like this sections. Every time I climb it. So, uh, I think I'm gonna do, like, the episode... Oh, okay, this is the guy! Oh, this is the guy that... Ooh, he was drunk... ...while his sisters died. That is... Guilt. Hey guys. Get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, he's wearing a beanie now. Mmm. Dude is racked with guilt. He so he may have stopped drinking, or is now drinking even heavily. Words are good, I'm good with them. Nah, this guy doesn't seem like a gossiping type. Okay, he does, but not while not on my watch. I know what you meant. No, seriously, I'm over it. And I just want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. I'm gonna stop this guy from drinking if he tries it. Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like Get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, hey. Not if I don't report you. Uh, <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. Okay. Tentatively. Hi, Chris. I like these two guys. Mmm. This guy would probably put on a happy face because he likes this girl. Oh, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Uh, you curled up by the fire, me watching you curled up by the fire. <laughs> Damn it. I breathe in the microphone again. I just. I want this guy. 
to just like wear his heart on his sleeve accidentally. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Ooh. Ooh. No. As of right now, this guy doesn't seem like the, uh, he seems a bit more like a follower. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that for now. Um, absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, like that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Yeah, but we're like friends. Oh yeah, these two, these two were friends. I like these guys. I thought there was gonna be like some sort of like competition going on here. Not these guys are good. Dripping with erotic possibilities, you and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now you come in for the kill. That was a little fucked up. Uh <laughs> my girlfriend. My watch these at some point. She was actually watching a little bit earlier on the previous episode live. I just want to be like, yeah, going for the kill, take it to the bones. <laughs> I'm gonna call for her later, being like, dude, really? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, absolutely. That's me. I'm the bone zone guy. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? She, she might not like, want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that. I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. I liked it better when you were sulking about your dead sisters. Whoa. Dude, they don't call it breaking and entering because you don't break shit. Let's find a window. Or a less than load bearing stone column. Let's break some shit. Or what is this like a key or something? Oh my god, the axe murderer has it already. Oh no. Um You wanna Let's let's talk about this. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I just gotta turn off my GPS. No nobody nobody's talking about this. Or I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone top? All right, let's talk about something else. Somebody has an axe out here. Are you fucking serious? Fine, whatever. Don't come crawling to me when you've lost both your legs. Well, I mean, you probably have to crawl at that point. If it is this easy for two randy teenagers to break into this house, an axe murderer will have absolutely no- It's not even locked. It's not, somebody's in the house. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean You gym? had a climbing class? Yeah, you know, oh. climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? Yes. I don't think so. You have the gift. Here. Use this. Slight spinal injury causes ESP in some douchebags. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Yeah. What, what is it? Let's okay. smoke a ton of weed. I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right. Oh. So I'm gonna Strangely, go put something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? My mind went immediately to arson. Godspeed, Pilgrim. You just quote John Wayne at me. I like the. I like these guys together. I gotta say. I mean, the writing isn't incredible. 
there's, you know, a lot of expository nonsense that people usually wouldn't say to each other because he's trying to teach me also how to play a video game at the same time. You know, progressing the story like that. These are everywhere. Why does nobody talk about this? Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. Well, seems like things are going to get more interesting very soon. Ooh, that Harley. Or a snowmobile. Or a snowmobile Harley. A snarly. A plus comedy. 10 out of 10. Oh! X Jenner convicted for arson. So where is revenge on movie mogul's family? Okay. Do we know the movie mogul? I mean, there's a lot of money in this family. Is it perhaps because he's a movie mogul? Or his father is, or family is? Oh, God. I'm going to assault whoever designed this camera. Come back. There we go. There he is. Wait. Oh, no, no, we lost him again. Here, boy. <laughs> oh, he's so shy. Are you, no, don't look directly at the fuck. That's how you get stupid. Look at him. He's like a caveman. Oh. Ah, oh, man, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Man, I can't even walk in a straight line. Dr. Hill would have something to say about this. Huh? That's cool. I do gotta say, that fire looks pretty good. Aesthetically, this game is very pleasing. Washington, okay. The Washington family. <laughs> Nobody holds a lighter that way. I'm I'm having trouble with the. Uh, put ah oh God ah oh, Jesus. Who uses a Zippo like this? I'm sorry, but if you are a smoker like me, or like I used to be, I'm gonna tell you. No groom extra convicted. Random movie moguls. At Washington's family. Okay. Yes. The movie mogul is... Are the Washingtons. So... We do know someone who has a beef with their family. Quite a violent one. Well, verbally violent. The man was angry. There we go. What the hell was that? Better not be a werewolf or a Dracula. <laughs> we come in and it's Hannah. Hannah, what the fuck? You're alive? He's like, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, finally, you're back. What's your what's the Wi-Fi password? Alright, before everybody comes in, I'm gonna take this moment to explore. Something before all these stupid teenagers just fuck up everything with their stupid teenagerness i'm going to i'm going to check around see if i can find any clues in this house slash shining hotel slash ancient indian burial ground <laughs> i don't know if that's it but if it checks that box, that would be the most deliciously cliche thing of all time. We know Native Americans are involved. They're really hammering in this butterfly effect thing. 
My god. She even has a tattoo of it. And I'm pretty sure I recognize and can name all the people in that photo. So I'm starting... I'm starting to get a... You know, more n knowledge. It'll be easier to make choices and things. You know, I'm not expecting any revelations, but, uh... Maybe just a little thing I can find of what people contaminate the crime scene, if you will. Something's fucky. Something's fucky in here, and I want to find out what it is. I mean, look at this. All of their furniture are ghosts. Or clan members. Either way, I'd, I'd want to rub my ass all over them. You sons of bitches. Paranormal racist motherfucking goddammit. I care not for your views or your ectoplasm. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a little something I like to call comedy. Also, I saw an open window over here. Don't worry. I'm prepared to make a big deal out of this. I mean, it doesn't look like somebody could get through all the way up here, but I am not above getting scared at that. Man, this place is huge. I'm surprised they've given me so much freedom to walk around. I'm impressed. I didn't actually think that door was going to be open. Ah, another ghost chair. This is it. Oh, look at the depth of field here. Like, the front of my jacket is crystal clear, but even you see the zipper up there is... Whoa! Uh... Oh, okay. I'm not expecting a close-up of that. I wasn't really expecting a close-up in his faux ho Oh. Oh. I recognize that shape. This is the bathroom. On that CCT camera, this bathroom flashed for just a moment. Oh, uh, that's why he was going, huh? Oh, wow. Ugh, was that a possum? Fucking hate possums. I can't believe it, during my snooping, I actually did what I was supposed to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Crap, that thing so what is that, like a... What was it? A badger? It's like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, he's just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby. No, Wolverine. Worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. <laughs> Sweet home. They've already created such drama. This is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. <laughs> What's with that? Kill Bill. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. 
Ooh. Nah, I ain't gonna challenge. I'm gonna warn. I'm gonna be the good guy. Stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? <sighs> We're all gonna die anyway. Quit being such a dick, man. Nobody wants you here. Seriously, what's your problem, meathead? So bitch! Hey, hey, get off me! Hey! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, man. Come back Already. To tear each other's heads off. I mean, we came back here to have a good time, right? Hey, Mike, why don't you and Jess go check out the guest cabin I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Wanna head up there? Oh, this is gonna be good. Sure. Let's have one more fight before the axe murderer shows up. Uh, should we get the spy going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter. Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left hmm. down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay, let's go. What? She was all right. Fine. So uh, apparently he's strangely fucking around between. Oh, okay. So he's gonna go back down to the cable car, and they're gonna see her like, oh wow, she's in the bath. Somebody's been looking around at shit. That's not cool at all. Romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes on. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, but oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the I like, like this guy. Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. Stark out. I mean, he's... Right. Roger that. He's a little tragic. He's trying so hard to have a good time. Okay. And none of these people are really any good. What? No. I mean, the only person who's really talked to and or given a shit about... Uh, fuck. Guy who lost... To, uh, fuck. I can't remember his name. Shit, I was I was just being like, ah, I know everything about this game. I'm the guy with all the I got the answers. Mm. All right, got to follow his character. Got to start macking on this girl. All right, read my mind. Boom! <laughs> Good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but it's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. Ooh, maybe that was like. Maybe that was the evidence. Maybe, like, we get separated, and then they find the phone, and that's, like, the last evidence of us being seen alive. Maybe I fucked it up. I got a few things in mind. I love before shit hits the fan, my mind just goes to, like, crazy places. That's, you know, that's kind of, like, half the fun of horror like this. Most of the fun you get, most of the terror comes from imagining all the crazy shit that's gonna happen. muscle flexing back there with you and Matt? You know, just 
little peacock action from a lady. Oh, really? That was all just to impress me? Well, you gotta show <laughs> off the goods when you got them. <laughs> okay. You seem that was pretty true to his character. There, Evasive. I like it. Mm-hmm. Still being no, a dick. No, I was just trying to put some distance, you know. Seemed like you just needed an excuse. Nice. It's very easy to remain uh to remain true to the character. It's pretty impressive actually. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Ugh, didn't Josh say there was a generator? That's what you sound like. God. <laughs> Ooh, someone going to die. Mike, generator. Right, got it. Oh, oh, it's a clown. Oh, oh my god. I look like a creepy clown. All right. Either that or like a Let's see. Was that a clowny? I don't know. I just got I got excited because I pointed to the clown in the book. I was like, oh it's a clown. Oh shit! It's the sand people from Star Wars. So, well, maybe. The snow people snow star sand. I was better at comedy earlier today, I promise. <laughs> Go. Go. Execute. Did you just say Kazam? Well, nobody yeah, says Kazam. Yeah. Totally. No, it's awesome. Oh yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> Ugh. Wow, two action shots of the bridge. You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. From Hannah and Beth. Still in the mood, honey. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Yes. I mean, Time for blame. Fault, they ran into the wood. Yeah. Stew, stew in the blame. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm really pushing these guys hard for uh, for like blaming them for the death. And that uh, hopefully either they will die as assholes. Or you'll see, like, this crazy heroic 180 filled with self-sacrifice and probably a gun. That gun from down at the lodge. Oh my god, I want to... I want to go with those two guys that were going back down to the cabin. Let's see the squirrel get its revenge. Did she just? Yeah, she just made me laugh. Legit. This guy would definitely do, uh. Not necessarily heroic, but he'd wanna. Oh! Ooh. He would definitely wanna be. He'd wanna do the shit himself.
And I want these two to remain together. You know, you shit the bed and I'll lie in it. Then hell, maybe the crazed axe... Alright, well, I say... I keep saying crazed axe murderer, but maybe... Just maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, holy crap. oh my gosh, are you okay? Wow, they really don't give you a whole lot of warning. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Dare I say that? Took me by surprise. Any hoozle. Um that maybe there's like something a bit more in sinister going on. Like, maybe there's one axe murderer, and, uh... Although I still haven't, uh, you know, ruled out the supernatural. Perhaps there's, you know... Perhaps there's Dracula's a foot. Or a hand. Or a handy foot. I'm gonna check out what else is down here first. Um... Ah, oh, damn it. I was intelligent a little while ago, I swear. Anyway, but uh, the guy who we've been seeing is someone who's like checking up on us because he doesn't want us to die. Like a guy who knows what's going on, that kind of shit. Whoa! Heck, fucking excuse me. Wait, so do these guys know what they're seeing? Like, does he look down? No, there's no way. There's no way that he knows. Like, what I just saw. Uh, because the other guys who see, like, the exploding that takes out the, uh, not-quite-so-popular, uh, Asian girl. And, uh, Hannah and Beth, I believe, were their names. Uh, that, you know, saw her own death. I think You'd think they would have told somebody that they, you know, looked at a wooden thing and... saw visions of the future. Maybe that's just me. I'm an old-fashioned guy. Weird place to hang cars. It's racing. Wonder who's out there. That's it? Not, holy shit, there's someone up here? It's, I wonder who's up here. Yeah, there does seem to be, all right. Continuing with the Native American motif. Something more is at play here. Whoa. This place is like, historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hesitant. I'm so hesitant to say that, like, supernatural spooky shit's gonna go on. So far, all I've seen is humans attacking humans. For revenge? Or... I don't know. What is... What's a Native American? Like, vengeful spirit? Maybe like Hannah and Beth? Getting there, you did this to me, I know what you did last summer? Wow. Fixer rubber. Yeah, this place is fucked. <laughs> so, you ready to do sex with me now? Now that we're all damp and musty, and a little bit frightened, slightly perturbed. Yeah, time to refreeze all, all of our juices. Is that fire? Or is that just a light? Okay, it's just a light. Oh, yes! Because, what? oh, I can't believe I forgot. It was just one episode ago. Where during the, um... Oh, God. During, like, the chase sequence. Like, something came at us with predator vision. Oh, when Joff's 
said cabin, I thought like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? <sighs> if by presidential you mean tear off your clothes, then yeah, probably. Yeah, so far. I just saw someone at the cabin. <laughs> so far, these things have uh, literally zero percent goodness. No good things happened here. Really? Come on, do it again. What a terrible view. And did you really just... Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Hmm. So far it's been just jump scares. I'm not liking that. Hey, Jess? Mm hmm Stay close by, okay? What's that? Holves. Uh, I said they were scary. The maybe we'll run into something. Oh my I god, <laughs> look at how pissed off that deer is. Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Look, Come on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's not hug a bear. The Rocky Mountain deer, look at him, he's, <laughs> he's mean mugging us, look at him. These are, these are my berries. I'm gonna f <laughs> these are my twigs and berries. You can shut the fuck up. Where's the cabin? Cabin's down here? Alright. Oh wow. Technologically. Techno technological erically? Yeah. This game is very pleasing. Uh, it, it gives me uh, a lot of... Seeing this, how this game so far plays very, very much like uh, Heavy Rain. A game which I enjoy immensely. I never had the, uh, the task of playing it while, you know, broadcasting. So I was deep in the thick of it. I was like, really? Are you fucking serious? Watch out, bird brain. Just, just answering the meeting. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, got a lot of love for you. <laughs> wow, I really hope nobody heard that. I just audibly farted. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, that's the uh, it's kind of that's the trouble you get into with these long, long let's play Twitch playthroughs. <laughs> Man, it's quite a hike to this cabin. We are. Damn it, Josh! Could you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, yeah, we are. Show off. We are so split up right now. Something on your face. If anything happens to us, no one will know. Yeah, time for some spooks. Yes. No, no, don't do it to me. Oh, son of a bitch. Demi, what? You want to help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy are. Aw, oh, she seems like a good sport, too. Come on. Although, I, I remember... There is... There, there's gotta be a camera. In this room somewhere. I know it. Let's look around a bit before we take all our clothes off. Because she... You know, she strikes me as a bright girl. This one's a bright spark. 
Not that anybody would think to go camera hunting before getting in the bath. Mind you, that's probably not really first on anybody's agenda. Ooh, unexplored territory. I don't think I could have gotten in here before. Time for some snooping. Ah. Hannah's room. Okay. Wow, oh, this is some intense snooping. Oh, Josh. Yeah. He did like them. Their family was close. They really liked each other. Little, little piece of a world-building backstory there. Okay. Yeah, this guy must be must have been devastated. Huh? Party time. Excellent. Yeah, he's a handsome man. <laughs> he just happens to be a snake. And as we know, Dr. Hank Hill told us that snakes are scary. Hello, could this be any more about Mike? This is not going to worry crazy, I am. Yeah. All right, so she was ambitious and gullible. That is a recipe for disaster and disaster. <laughs> disaster did fall uh, fall upon us, befall us. That's the word. I got words. Fancy dress obligatory. <laughs> so our strange time with Dr. Hill starting to bleed into the other rest of the game. But why? For what purpose? Well, this isn't the first game to do, uh, you know, psychiatrist cutaways. Uh, uh sorry. God damn it. I went to scratch my eyes and I Mike Tysoned the, uh, the microphone just now. Um. Yeah, Silent Hill Shattered Memories did, uh, exactly the same thing a few years before this. And, uh, that actually had, uh, impact on the game. It was very, it was pretty mild. Like a, it was like a coloring section you did that would actually change, um, change the color of some of the things in the game. Yeah, totally. Woohoo! Let's go, Josh. Let's go. Do do do. Defense. Defense. Fire. Fire. Oh my Those things are a joke, man. God. Bunch of teenagers alone. Alone in the night. During a blizzard. In the middle of nowhere. In an abandoned hotel. During a Native American burial ground thing. An old insane asylum. With an Oya board. Oya Oya board. Oya. Okay. No. Let's ignore. Maybe it's. Maybe this game is self-aware and is cliche. It's like a. Kind of like a B movie. Like um. 
like Black Dynamite was so self-aware of like the stigma uh, and yet fun of like black exploitation movies and like old uh, action B movies. I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. I was thinking they could use some alone time. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> oh, so much foreshadowing. <laughs> that is sweet. It looks a bit, I mean, hello. This is our vacation photo. We went to the Uncanny Valley for a while. Oh, Cape Cod. <laughs> Your guess was as good as mine. Damn it. I really hope uh, this Sam is like the, the Nancy Drew type. Who, uh, who eventually, like, helps solve the mystery. I like... I like playing as her. I like it when she's in scenes. You know, Sam. Yes, sure. Beholden to no one. So far. I just to say, uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Nah, man. Josh, we're here for you. We good. Really, whatever you need. We're with you, man. Whenever you and me. You and me. Make it through this. Together. We're like family. Um, Got you back. I want us to have a good time, you know? Sorry, everybody. It's time for a quick water break. I promise you. I promise you that is not a bong. <laughs> Smooth. Wow, this place looks just like an insane asylum. This place is... I would be frightened spending time here. <laughs> I've already been here. I was here as Chris. Chris! Chris! Yeah, well, I got a baseball bat. Okay, let's be serious. What's that doing here? Is that yours? You bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. You see? Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out. Yeah. Now we're bonding. Ah, uh, we'll save it for the couch, right? Okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water machine. You and I. Here, I'll help you get through this, buddy. And the sedentary shall inherit the earth. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Trust me, I'm an engineer. It's actually pretty simple. Okay, so at my work, sometimes I have to use a dishwasher uh, after I formulate things. Oh, I mean... Fuck. Oh, damn. 
Anyway, and they, uh, you know, the first time that I did it, the, the people there didn't... So I just had to do it quicker. Yeah, come on. Fucking balls! You have no faith in me, Josh. Don't press the b goddamn button. That's more like it. I saw the dude walking around. Bye, girl. Mm. Yeah. The guy on the right, I saw him. He was down here. Just a split second, but someone was there. Damn it, I wanted there to actually be something there. <laughs> what? No. Where'd you get the first point? Does it start at 30? No, 15. Oh. Well, more of a ping pong, yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay, so you hear that too, right? Alright, I would say it's because, you know, this is an old house. And hopefully you winterized your parps. You winterized your pipes. Yeah, concerned. Absolutely. Maybe we should... Why why would you be heroic? There's someone else here. You're together. What if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. I'm gonna Alan Wake this motherfucker. I'm gonna shine my flashlight on him. <laughs> It's Chris. It's gotta be Chris. I do like these guys. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight bit of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about <laughs> You come over and like Ashley's like flayed no. on, and on fire and shit. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true home. Mm hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oi, 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 oi. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Wow. You know what? You know I didn't know that monk's robes had sweet pockets like that. Spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. Whoa, okay. Interesting. Is 
This changes things a bit. I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Josh, you mean? Do you share this fear? I would... Oh, there's the snake! Yeah! They're so scary! Okay. I would say... I do enjoy the peace that comes from solitude on a personal level. But I would say that too much alone time is detrimental overall. So I would say I don't fear loneliness, but I understand that it is a bad thing. What, because I'm pitting lovers against each other? No, I'm calling people out on their bullshit. Yeah, it's not gonna win me any favors, but trust me. I'm gonna coalesce this team once the shit hits the fan. And now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What do you value? Yeah. What do you respect in yourself? Avengers Assemble. Let's do this shit. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Honesty. That is n That is no contest. So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. I already have done that. Charity. Honesty again. It's not what I said. Yes, honesty is more important than charity, but that does, does not devalue charity at all. You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, you son of a bitch, I don't like you. I don't know about this guy. Alright, so that is a good place to end this, the second episode, and I will be beginning the third episode very shortly, after another bong rip, which is actually just water, I promise. <laughs>